All right, in this lesson, we're gonna learn how to work with the snack bar, so this cute little guy down here. All right, so snack bars, uh, pretty simply, are just, just for feedback, right? So, so um, tiny little message comes up. Generally, it shows up for just a short amount of time. Um, you can swipe them away. You can uh, assign actions that go along with them. Uh, really up to you. Uh, and for those of you who have used them, they're very similar to toasts. Uh, but it's the swiping and, and the actions that, that set them apart. I'm realizing we haven't done anything with toast yet, so it's probably worth a, a, a quick one of those. Um, so let's let's go ahead and and set it set a toast here. Uh, so back up on my floating action button, um, I'm actually going to do uh, make the toast. Toast is just a little message that pops up on the screen. Um, so toast, and there's two things you want to do: make text, which returns a toast, and then we'll show that. So make make text uh, takes a context and the context is going to be this uh, and actually it's it's the uh, the activity that you pass in so main activity dot this uh, don't forget we're inside a, a, a click listener right here right now um, and so we have that and then we have some text so this is maybe uh, you know when an item is added or something like that we put that there and then you need to give it a duration which is going to be toast uh, length long uh, we can do a long, short, uh, whatever you like. And then uh, we can chain a, a call to show in that since, since make text returns a toast that we can call show on. Uh, now you notice the similarity between that and the snack bar. I'm going to leave this in here. So we just do snack bar dot make. Um, it's going to get a view associated with it. It's a little bit different. Uh, it also gets some text and then it has a length as well. Um, you can set an action if you want. So there's there's none in here right now. We'll actually play around with that in a bit, um, and then you call you call show on it. Right. Um, and let's go ahead and run this guy. So I get out of bend my emulator, and let's see. Let's try this out. So when I hit the floating action button, um, we get our toast, and we also get the snack bar. And again, we can get these guys up here. Uh, so pretty simple so far. All right. So that's what we get sort of by default. What I'd like to do, uh, let's see, I, I don't really care so much about the toast for now. And the snack bar, I actually want to pull this guy down into, when I go to reset something. Uh, so I'm going to reset, get rid of an item, uh, show it, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and paste this guy back in. Uh, now it's interesting, now we don't have a view if we move it here. So you notice um, inside this, um, so the, the uh, the button that was clicked here was the view. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna keep moving up the view hierarchy until it finds, uh, until it finds the, a, a place to put it. Um, so I happen to know that that's the, the coordinator layout. So what we can do is we can just do a find view by ID, r.id, uh, oops, id dot. And back in the beginning, hopefully you did this, um, we assigned a, an ID to our coordinator layout um, back in XML. So again, if, if you didn't do that, that's going to be in activity main. You could go stick an ID in, the, in there now if you needed to. All right, so what are we going to have this guy do? Um, so we're clearing an item or, or resetting it. So we could just say item cleared. Uh, length long is fine. Uh, set action, I, I don't really need. So I could leave that there or I could just blow it away. In fact, I'm, I'm going to do that uh, and chain those guys together. And I'll launch. Let's try it out here. So let's see. Uh, I lost my, my mouse cursor. Um, there we go. So we go ahead and add something. And then we hit this guy. And it sets it back to nothing and says that the item was cleared. All right, I'm going to do that again. Uh, and notice that I can swipe it off if, if I want, if I get it all the way off. Whoops. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so, that, so that works. Um, pretty neat. All right. Um, and you know we, we showed that it was reset here. And again, that parameter was was the root view, was the coordinator layout. Yep. All right, so that was pretty neat, um, you know, to, to go ahead and show that, that it was reset. What would be even cooler is to have an undo functionality. This seems to be an increasing popular design pattern uh, in Android when you, you know, when you delete something or move it or whatever, they, they give you a short time in which you can change your mind. Uh, and that's kind of neat. So we'll just have to keep track of that guy when, when we delete it. Let's go back to code. And let's let's try this. All right. So the, the main thing here is that before we show things um, that we are going to 
I'm going to go back and set the action back on here. Um, set action, let's see, I'm going to, I'm going to chain this together, uh, is going to take some text, which I'll just say is, is undo, and it takes a listener. And this guy is just going to be um, our old friend, the on-click listener. Um, I'll wire this, finish wiring this together here. Let's put the dot, dot show back on it. Uh, so in here, we need to say what what is what is going to happen when we, when we hit undo. Right. Um, so a couple things, right? So so first of all, before we delete this guy, we're going to have to um, set up a, a, a cleared item. All right. So we'll go ahead and set a cleared item here um, and that will be the current item so we have a, a so we basically grab that guy and then reset the current item like that and then if they undo things it's the it's the cleared item that we want to bring back so the current item gets the cleared item right here and then we can uh, we can reshow uh, the current item and maybe we want to say something right there um, that you know even even put another snack bar here that says that it was restored, right? So we could do that same thing here. So uh, find view by ID, r dot ID dot coordinator layout, and then uh, item restored, and you can pick. Maybe I'll guess I, I'll go a little bit shorter shorter on this time, and we'll show that guy. They get a little bit long when you when you chain them together, um, so split. Feel free to split that up if if you like. All right, so nested snack bars, um, kind of fun here. Again, so we have one to clear it, and then all the other, uh, everything else within here was within um, what the action of if they click undo, then what do we do? Um, and that's going to be to to basically restore the other item and say that we did. Right, let's try it out. So we add an item, clear it, item clear. Do you want to undo it? Yes, undo it. Ah, your plugs are back. Ooh, that's cool. So let's see, undo it, and then it says it's restored, and we're done. Okay, uh, pretty neat. And that's about all we got for you for snack bars. So we'll see you next time uh, when we go on and we'll take a look at, at some icons. Thank you.